first of all, I gotta say there are so many that I follow and I'm going to limit myself to only people that are kind of active lately. So I gotta organize them into little nice sections. And we're going to start with a couple of YouTubers that are really at a highest level in terms of what I really like about YouTube. They are doing tutorials, they're talking about their process, even talking about their life. And first one, if there is any such thing as a micro celebrity in a niche, Mort Mort would definitely be the one for pixel art. He's doing time lapses, has pixel art challenges, he live streams a lot so you can see his whole streams. And of course, he has a big section with a lot of cool tips on tile sets and how to pick colors and basics of Photoshop. He's been doing this for about two and three years with great consistency. So he actually started a second channel called More Mort, where he just posts a vlog about how he's going about his life. And so yeah, this is like the whole YouTube vlogger thing that I, I don't know, honestly, I really like it. I like to follow people and see how they're doing. And if we can get that for pixel artists, I am that much more happy. Similar combination to Mort Mort is the Poncho Pilgrim that I just discovered as I was researching for this video. Wow, he made a pixel art animation short called Boat Nomad just a month ago and it's such a nice little ghost in the shell, that city scene where you're just kind of floating around different scenes, animation, totally love it. And besides all of this, he has a lot of time lapses where he talks about what, how his process is. He has also not just pixel art, but also digital illustrations. And he talks about his life, what's going on. So it's a mix of vlog and everything that I love. He's been just getting started, close to a thousand subscribers. The Poncho Pilgrim. I'm super glad I'm doing this because of finding people like him. Next up we have Armitage Games, which is the studio of Michael Van Sleeve. I've already mentioned him before on the show. He is the developer behind Bannerman and the tutorial on Dithering that I mentioned in one of the DIY sections. So he has this monthly show called Just Make Game where he's been discussing how he's making Bannerman and he released the game a couple of months ago, so now he renamed from Just Made Game to Just Made Game and he's talking about uh, the after. He's been very open about how the whole reception of the game was and things he wasn't prepared for. For example, just people being so, like people being even just mean to the point of sending, telling him his game sucks so much he should just kill himself. Like, yeah, it was really interesting, very insightful. If you are making a game and releasing it, definitely check out his videos and the vlog. Very great person. So yeah, those people that are saying mean stuff about him definitely have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah, Army Touch Games. Last but not least, of my favorite top four YouTubers is Untied Games, which is the name of the studio of Will Ties. He mainly has three types of videos, the devlogs of his game Atmocopters, speed spriting, which is just kind of time lapses with captioned things so you can learn stuff from them. And especially like the ones he's doing about tiles because I follow him on Patreon where he's releasing his tile sets. Really, if you're into tiles, Will Tiles is your guy. And every once in a while, there's also a Will Sensei video on just random topics like making palettes. Again, a combination of vlogs and pixels and tutorials. It's really good to know uh, what's will going on if you combine it with his Patreon, a really good person to follow. Now we're gonna go to people who do art tutorials and we're actually gonna start with AC Pride, which you all know is the software that a lot of us use. They don't have that many videos yet, but they do attack some more advanced features of AC Pride, like how to move and rotate multiple layers at the same time. And I'm pretty sure you've never used convolution matrices plus color curves to create glow and stuff like that. Really insightful and useful if you're using AC Pride. Next up is Flow Graphics, which is a more general Photoshop channel, but it has videos on pixel art as well. 
And if you see a video about other kinds of art once in a while, that's not gonna make your pixel art any worse. So take a look at Flow Graphics. RHL Pixels is the channel of a pixel artist named Cat. She doesn't have a lot of videos yet, but the ones that are there are nice little insightful chats about things like anatomy, proportions, or how to pick colors. I follow her Patreon and her DeviantArt even longer. She has a really interesting, nice, and with a pretty unique and trademark color palette. So yeah, I'm always interested in what Kat has to say about pixels. We're gonna round up the art tutorials with Jimzip, who has his series called Pixorama. Some of the videos are just time lapses, but there is also a lot of tutorials or kind of like real-time demonstrations of how to pixel different things and he even labels his videos if they are easy or hard so you can find something to attack for your skill level. Next up we're gonna talk about artists that post time lapses but we're gonna start with people that also narrate them because there's so much more you can learn if you hear the artists also comment on the process. Game Art Stuff is the channel by Marco Valle. He's a great artist. He also has a course, I think on Coursera maybe, one of the most popular pixel art uh, online courses. And his skills are just super insightful. He also has one video where he breaks down an image's composition and just kind of comments how things are flowing around. Super useful channel, game art stuff. I'm gonna have to just quickly go through the rest because there's so many that just post time lapses. So you're gonna see them in the background. Frankie Smile Show is channel or nickname of Francis Coulomb. He's been at it for such a long time. He's really a well-known name in the scene. He's been posting videos for nine years. So he has a long series of time lapses and recently he also started to narrate them. He has this kind of a grotesque art style to them. So yeah, check it out if this is the kind of art style that you like. Next up, we have Beastmaster Studios, which is the studio of Michael Williams, an Australian pixel artist. It's kind of the same thing. His series is called Pixel Time, except he's a newcomer. He's been doing videos just for a year now. So here you'll see videos from somebody that's more at the start of their pixel art journey. Louis Zuno is also somebody I follow closely. He also has a Patreon. He doesn't narrate his stuff, but there are captions underneath so you can learn a lot of stuff. And similarly with captions, we have 6VCR. Really cool style, cool animations, some Skyrim scenes. Yeah, really lovely to see how they approach this kind of art style. Now we get two artists that just post time lapses, put some music on and let the art speak for itself. There's so many of this kind of stuff now that it's pretty much useful only if you really like that artist style and then once you see their process it's kind of the same over and over. You know, when you're interested in studying some artists, definitely check out their time lapses. Pixels Ha is a very good well-known name. It's Octavio Navarro making these huge scenes with a lot of stuff, storybook style illustration. A lot of people love his art style. Similarly, Kirokaze, I've talked both about Octavio Navarro and Kirokaze in my Medium publication called Retronator Magazine. Uh, so Kirokaze is Gerardo Quiroz, an artist from Peru that is probably one of the most prolific artists I know. He really makes a lot of scenes with sci-fi or fantasy elements. Then we have DIY Games, which is a studio of brothers Alberto and Dani. And Alberto is the pixel artist in this case. I've been following his DeviantArt forever. He's been doing a lot of pixel dailies. And here you can see his art process. Now it is Amatniex is somebody I follow on Patreon and Twitter. Again, a very cool art style with a little bit more pastel or kind of like natural earth tones palette that he often uses. 
I also got to know about a couple of people just now when I asked people who should I include. Marina Anti86 is one of them. I really like this train time lapse. And finally, we have a name that I really can't pronounce because it's Japanese. The only part I can read is Sozai Garo. Uh, there's nothing I can really understand the description, but the artist, his name is Atsuhiro Yoshioka, has been part of the Pixel Art Academy community and he's been posting his time lapses there. He does these little small pixel art works. For our last category, we're gonna look at artists that mix pixel art with game dev. Hard Beast, 100,000 subscribers. Here I'm gonna add one more. So this is a channel of Benjamin Anderson. Like Marco Valle, he's done one of the first online pixel art tutorials in these online classrooms. Uh, learn to create pixel art for your games is the one I'm talking about. It's available for $20 and recently he's been making two tutorials to how to make RPGs in Game Maker Studio. And on his YouTube channel, you will get a lot of this kind of content as well. Pixelflix is another channel that mixes time lapses and game development action. Here we can see how he's building a pixel art platformer prototype. So it's nice to see how somebody that makes art then may puts it into motion as well inside of a game. RPG to Heaven is another very interesting channel about a video game. In this case, it's Nightkeep, which just launched on Indiegogo. I really like the art style and on their YouTube channel you can find a lot of making of videos of how they're doing it and so it's nice to see the pixel art and uh, coding things intertwined with one another. Last developer I'm gonna talk about is Estudio Vaca Roja Roxa. This is the developer Bakudas who posts time lapses and game dev stuff. So in the previous year it was mainly just time lapses and the latest three videos are dev streams of the game Hollow. And last I'm going to mention Pixel Prospector because he's been such an important part of the pixel art community. Lately they've been just posting trailers for games which is kind of how they started all the way back and how they really became popular is by creating these compilation videos things like 235 free indie games in 10 minutes or 55 fresh indie games in 5 minutes so it is a really good resource of finding pixel art or old school or platformer games pixel prospector <laughs> 